Alright, in this video I'm going to do one more example of finding the center and radius of a circle. And again, what we're going to do is we're just going to use completing the square to, to rewrite our equation and put it in the center radius form. So we're going to start with 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 16x plus 24y minus 36. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, just to make the numbers all a little more manageable, um, kind of one observation, they're all even, so certainly I can divide them by 2. But I think we can even do better than that because I believe 4 will go into all of these numbers. So that's the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to divide everything on the left by 4. So we have to also divide the right by 4. Well, 4x four squared over 4 is just x squared. 4y uh, squared over 4 will be positive y squared. Negative 16x over 4 would be negative 4x. Positive 24 over 4 would be positive 6y. Negative 36 divided by 4 would be negative 9. And then 0 divided by 4 is 0. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to kind of uh, regroup things here a little bit. I'm going to put the x's next to each other and I'm going to put the y's next to each other. So notice we have an x squared. We've got negative 4x. And then we've got positive y squared hanging out. We've got a positive 6y. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the 9 over to the right side. So again, I kind of imagine, you know, I, I'm going to stick my x's in a set of parentheses. If there's any coefficient, I factor it out. We don't have to worry about that step here. I'm going to give myself a little space. The same thing for the y's. I'm just going to give myself a little space. So again, completing the square, it says we take one half of the coefficient on the linear term, so one half of negative four in this case will be negative two. We then take negative two and square it, which will give us positive four. And this number is the number that we just kind of magically throw inside the parentheses, so plus four. The same thing for the y's, um, we'll have, uh, let's see, if we take one half of the coefficient, which is six, that'll give us positive three. And then three squared again is positive nine. So again, I'm gonna add a nine to the left side in that set of parentheses. On the right side, we had a 9 hanging out already. But again, really, what did we do on the left side? On the left side, we added a 4 and we added a 9. So I've got to do that to the right side as well. And now again, we're almost there. x squared minus 4x plus 4, that factors nicely as x minus 2 squared. y squared plus 6y plus 9, that factors as y plus 3, quantity squared, let's see, uh, 9 and 4 is 13, plus another 9 is 22, and now we've put this in our familiar center radius form. It says the center of our circle is going to be at the x-coordinate of positive 2 and the y-coordinate of negative 3, and then the radius of our circle is simply going to be the square root of 22 which factors is 2 times 11, that doesn't really break down any further, so I would probably just, you know, leave it alone here. So, again, completing the square, a little tedious, um, but hopefully not, not too terribly bad.